What's up everyone, this is Live Talk is Tech, and today I'm going to be showing you all the new features of the first beta of iOS 11. Let's get started. So the first developer beta of iOS 11 was just dropped today, so today I'm going to be showing you all the new features of that beta, and on top of that, I sort of want to add a new addition to this series. What I'm going to be doing now is I'm also going to be showing you what glitches work and do not work, just so that way you know whether or not to update if a glitch is very important to you. For example, the dock glitch is very important to me, and that's a determining factor whether or not I update. So, the first welcome change is a faster animation. While unlocking the device, you now get a faster animation when the apps open up. It's pretty cool to see. There's also a new assistive touch feature. So when you tap on assistive touch on iOS 11 and 10, it opens up in the center of the screen. But on the developed version of iOS 11 beta 1, it now opens up wherever that little dot is on the home screen. So you can see it's kind of strange. I'm going to have to get used to this, but I personally don't like it. It was fine the way it was before. There's also this new reachability bug. When you double tap the home button, the apps now show up on the dock. It's kind of strange, but hopefully i can find a glitch or make another glitch using this glitch there's also the new feedback app that was not previous before and the 3d touch lag is still there so don't even ask about that because apple's probably not going to fix that for a long time also the battery is still horrendous on ios 11 it's trash and it's pretty much a joke at this point get a mophie case or something because battery life i don't think is going to change for a long time so moving on to the glitch section you can see that the dock glitch still works i think that this is awesome and this is probably going to last another beta seeing that apple has gone this long without addressing the glitch i personally love the fact that they haven't found out about this yet and i hope they keep it also the glitch that i found a little bit ago that iDevice help made a video on still works but there's a different way to access it so this glitch will actually remove all animations on the iphone and you activate it by using Siri but the problem is when you type in your password that's how you activate the glitch but there's no password screen anymore in iOS 11 beta 1 there's only like this stupid thumbprint thing that doesn't even work properly it won't scan your finger at all it's kind of stupid but the way to activate it is you need to activate Siri but then exit Siri and then open up a notification and then type in your password while doing so once you do that go ahead and tap on OK and then the glitch is activated so it's sort of strange but it still works. Also on iOS 11, there is an emergency button when opening up a notification, but there is no emergency button on the developer beta that was just released. So I'm not really sure why they removed it. I don't really have a problem with it because there's still an emergency button on the passcode section. So I don't really have a problem with it. It's just kind of strange that they move these tiny little details that really don't matter at all. They should focus their time on battery life rather than removing these small details. When you type in your device password, there's no feedback whether or not you got it wrong. Usually your phone would buzz and then it would let you know but now that no longer exists i hope this is just a glitch but if it's a new feature i'm going to be like really mad because i actually love when it used to buzz when you typed in your password wrong because that would actually let me know whether or not i got it wrong also when you force press on assistive touch usually it would let you click the home button pretty much or activate multitasking one of those features and it would buzz and give you taptic feedback but now it doesn't do anything just like I mentioned before with the whole lock screen. So I think Apple sort of go in a different direction with the taptic feedback. They're removing features, which is something that I do not like. Anyways, that's about it for today. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, peace.